Hi everyone, uh, it's been a while since I've been on and posted a new video. Um, hope everyone has had a, a great holiday, great Christmas, Hanukkah, Thanksgiving, uh, Halloween. Um, that's how long it's been since I've uh, posted a video. I've just had a lot going on with work before the holidays. Um, I actually had gotten uh, COVID, um, so that was a thing. Uh, I'm much better now though. Uh, and I uh, just wanted to make this video on um, the Ecto-1 by Lego. Um, so as you see here, here's the box. And here's the completed Ecto-1. And I'm very happy with what Lego has done here. Um, you can see I opted to put these stickers on. For those that don't know, um, all the rust uh, decals are stickers. The logo is printed on the brick. Um, I went with the afterlife look. You can leave the stickers off and go for more 1984 uh, Ghostbusters Ecto-1 look, but I opted to go with the afterlife look. I think it looks really great. Um, there's a lot of really cool detail uh, throughout this whole piece. Um, it is uh, licensed or an affiliate with uh, Cadillac, so you have the Cadillac logo. Um, looking in the engine, you have the Cadillac decal uh, for the engine. Um, so that's a really nice touch. Um, of course, when you move it, you get some animation on the top when it rolls. Um, also, this knob here will adjust the steering wheel and tires. So overall, I think they did an excellent job. Uh, the build was actually kind of fun to do. Um, there wasn't too uh, many monotonous spots where it was repetitive. Um, I think the build instructions did a good job of breaking things up and uh, keeping it interesting um, so you don't get bored with it. A um, couple, couple little gripes I think I have is along this, this bottom rail here, these things tend to pop off. Um, obviously you'd want to display this, but if you have kids like mine and they want to roll this thing around, there's been some parts that fall off fairly easy. Those are one of them. Um, and then these, uh, fog lights, these pop off super easy. So I think I'm going to go in with some super glue and just super glue those parts on. Um, they're non-functional, so I don't have to worry about it, uh, creating an issue with any of the moving parts of the Ecto-1. And, uh, also like... Like these lights and stuff, I might I might just add a little spot of glue just to make it a little bit more secure. Um, speaking about lights and side view mirrors, I didn't realize, but looking at this overhead shot, so you can see how my rear view mirrors are lined up even with one another. I didn't know, but the in the instructions, um, this one is actually supposed to be here. So this, this guy is supposed to be where this one is, and it's offset from one another. And I guess that's how it is on the, on the 1959 Cadillac Miller Meteor, which was used in the film. I didn't know that. Um, I line these up. I think it, aesthetically it looks a bit better to me. Um, but the original car does have it here. So if anyone's building it and they notice, hey, this is offset, maybe the instructions are wrong, it's not wrong. It's how it's supposed to look. Um, but like I said, I lined it up. I think it looks a little bit better this way. Um, so this is a really cool piece and of course you have the button which is disguised by this little rust patch which will eject the gunner seat as you can see there which is really cool it's got a little proton pack built onto the back of that chair and another little secret is if you pull this little lever out comes the new ghost trap which is pretty cool. And speaking about the new ghost trap, I do have in the works that particular ghost trap that we've seen. Um, I do have an RC frame motor with wheels. Um, I have a spare ghost trap. I have a couple of the spirit traps that I've modded uh, pretty well um, that I use often. Um, I have one that I'm gonna use for that build. Um, I'm gonna get that going, so I'll, I'll be posting videos on that. Um, also, things I've been working on, so I have modded spirit goggles. Um, they're almost near complete. I just got some cleaning up to do. So I'm put some lenses in here. Um, and this is an actual Polaroid, so this will actually take uh, Polaroid pictures. And to get, get this to work, I had to find a Polaroid that was small enough that could, I could chop this up and put it in 
and uh, make it functional. And it's, it's actually really cool. So the flash bulb is that little hole there. And out of this lens, I don't know if you can see with this camera, there's the camera lens on the inside. So you take a, a pretty clear uh, photograph that way. Now I do have a couple of other spirit goggles that I'm working on. One, I'm gonna work on a non-functional pair and I actually got this 3D printed Afterlife kit. Um, I forgot who, who printed this. I think I found it on an Etsy site that's modded for the spirit goggles um, and it it's the whole kit. So it's the flash bulb, it's uh, this plastic piece that houses the, the camera. And it looks like it, it, exactly how it does in the trailer that we've seen for Afterlife with the Polaroid Spirit uh, or the Ecto goggles. Um, so I'm going to be doing a build on that. So that'll be a little bit more accurate than those. I just wanted a functional pair, and then this will be for the more accurate visual pair, um, depending on what I what I how I want to cosplay. Um, and speaking of that. I was able to pick up this bad boy. So if anyone's unfamiliar with the PKE meter used in Ghostbusters, the original, it was an old Iona electric shoe polisher. So I think originally they used a black one. I think it comes black, green, red, if I'm not mistaken. I was able to pick up a red one. So this is the actual device used uh, in Ghostbusters that they used to make a PKE meter. Of course, they, you know, replaced this piece here they filed that down where these iona labels are this black uh this black insert that's where the wings go um there's one on this side that's not black but that's where the wing would go and you can see it's got the same shape and that's what they use so i was able to pick up this bad boy uh, for about eight dollars um but with everything you see here the full thing so I was lucky to find it, um, and I picked it up. So let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see me do with this. I'm I don't I don't know. Do I keep it this way and just have have a nice story to tell, or do I make it a PKE meter? I do have several modded Spirit PKE meters that do the trick, but would it be cool to make a PKE meter out of what they did? Uh, in the 80s or leave it this way and just have a cool story to tell about that this was the one that they used um, you guys keep you guys keep me posted on that um, and to wrap up this video um, I want to let you guys know that the Spangler's Neutrona one that I have modded up um, I've had no issues with whatsoever um, everything is working um, as is I uh, was able to take it out for Halloween. I've had no problems with it. Uh, it was a huge hit with everybody. And uh, everyone seems to really like it. So, um, once again, I hope you guys have had a great holiday. Um, and I hope you guys are going to have a happy new year. And let me know what you guys want to see me do with that Iona shoe polisher. Alright, bye everyone.